Hi, this is uh, the next F in the in the parade. Flexibility begins with an F. And um, when we move forward and actually commit ourselves to action, trying some sort of experiment, uh, we have to appreciate that when we go through school, uh, the way school is organized, there always seem to be answers, you know, to the problem. Uh, whereas when we're in the real world, uh, everything is sort of a chaotic system, starting with our own brain and the emergent objects and ideas that come out of our brain. Um, and so when we go into our environment, we're dealing with customers and so forth, lots of variables out there. So, and when we act, the rest of the world shifts too. We can't anticipate all this, so we can't, we can't be right. We can't forecast perfectly, and we can't be an expert about how new stuff is going to work out. So... What we have to do is say, instead of being a know-it-all, I'm going to be a learn-it-all. Instead of being a control freak and having to be on top of every little step we take and know what's going to happen, I'm going to provide sort of broad boundaries and say, look, here's the, the peak we're going after. Can you see it? Okay, good. Let's just start wandering our way through the wilderness and up the mountain to get get to that peak. So there is a there is a, a degree of control. It just isn't going to be 100% controlled up front, 100% known and anticipated up front. So if we can be relaxed and open, then if you look over here and look at these two two charts, here's a guy who says, you know, I'm an expert and I've got this theory and I I've got all the answers and so this is what I'm expecting to see. And this is their, their 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 ability to see stuff, as opposed to somebody says, you know, I'm gonna, you know, I've I've got this vision, you know, but I'm gonna hop out here. I'm just gonna be relaxed and look all around and see what happens and who comes out of the woods from in any different direction and listen to what they have and so forth. And that may mean that we take a very different kind of path to get where we want, as opposed to, you know, my way or the highway kind of thing over here. Um, and the way we can see more is if we just relax, take some deep breaths, stay present, listen, don't talk, uh, and, you know, just ask good creative questions. Uh, and then the people around us will say, well, you know, now that I think about it, and stuff starts to come up that they normally wouldn't have shared, and particularly with customers and identifying their next level of needs, which aren't so apparent, they're more latent is the expression, they're more hidden, um, we'll start to see this. Um, and I, as a as a example of personal luck, when I was doing a turnaround, uh, I did my customer profitability rank report. I noticed a group of customers in the top twenty were all the same birds of a feather, and I went out to them and I sort of was having a conversation about service excellence with the first customer, and he said, "You know, you have a two p.m. cutoff for next day delivery." And I call you one fifty five, and I don't get it the next day. And I said, "Oh, so you want on time delivery?" He said, "Yes." I then asked, is 2 p.m. a good cutoff? And he said, oh, you know, I would die and go to heaven if it were 5 p.m. I'll spare you why that worked and so forth. But I thought, great. Five out of five customers said they'd die and go to heaven if we had a later cutoff for next day delivery. I went back to the company and they said, oh, the reason it's 2 p.m. is because the UPS truck comes at 3.30. And I said, well, we'll ask the UPS guy to come after 5.00. Oh, he won't do that. We already asked. Well, I talked to the guy, and when I understood his total context, I was able to make a bargain with him where he said, you know what? I will always come here last, and I'll come in at 520 to 540, park my truck, and do 45 minutes of extra paperwork. Long story. But the truth of the matter is by listening and asking dumb questions and tell me about the bigger picture, I started having, you know, soft eyes and, and asking sort of dumb creative questions. I came up with the next level insights that allowed us to change radically the service value equation for that number one niche of customer. And we doubled our volume and quadrupled our profits with that number one niche of customer in 12 months time. We went on to, to do even a lot more of it. And in each city we went into thereafter, we were able to knock off that niche just from scratch, you know, with our powerful service value equation. So don't be an expert. Don't try to control everything. Just say, you know what, let's just do this with a relaxed, open mind and look at everything in sort of a 360 degree sec uh, kind of way. Thank you.